Hi, my name is Jim Randall and I'm here for the Money Series. This is the Internal Revenue Code. Not really, but it's about the size of what the Internal Revenue Code would look like if it was printed out. Today, almost all accountants and tax preparers have everything online, but my accountant gave me this to show you what the Internal Revenue Code would look like. Pretty heavy, by the way. As you can see, pretty thick. There are about 10,000 sections in the Internal Revenue Code. Let me put that down. I want to go through with you the fundamentals of the Internal Revenue Code. The beginning of your understanding of this voluminous work of art. Start with gross income. All the money you earn from whatever source, that's your gross income. Okay. Now let's go to some important concepts that can reduce your gross income. And what is called an exemption. An exemption is a, an amount of money you can take for yourself and for any person dependent on you. Your spouse, could be a child, could be a parent you're supporting. And the amount of that exemption is 37, in 2011 was $3,700 per person. So $3,700 per person times the number of your exemptions reduces your gross income. The next category of reductions are called, appropriately enough, deductions. And there are two categories of deductions. There are itemized deductions. Now this is for people who want to keep track of, keep a record of, certain expense categories. There's three big itemized deductions are charitable contributions, real estate taxes for those who own a home, and interest on a mortgage for those who own real estate. Those are your itemized deductions, and they will reduce your gross income. If you don't want to itemize deductions, you can take alternatively what's called the standard deduction. And the standard deduction is the government saying, okay, you don't want to itemize deductions, no worries. We're going to give you a set amount of money, which we believe is about fair for those who choose not to itemize deductions. So you take either itemized or standard deductions, to further reduce your gross income. So gross, gross income minus exemptions minus deductions equals taxable income. Taxable income is probably the most important concept in the Internal Revenue Code because that's the number in which the government applies a tax rate to figure out how much you owe in taxes. Now our system is what's called a progressive tax rate. The rate progresses up as you earn more and more income. Now it's very important to understand, a lot of people don't get this. If you start at one rate, the lowest tax rate in the Internal Revenue Code is 10%, and then you start earning more money, your rate goes up, but only on the increment. So if your rate goes up to 15%, you're not paying 15% on the entire amount you earn, just on the increment over some baseline. Same thing when you go up, you may get up to a rate of 25%, Again, only on the increment, only amount of income on that riser is charged 25%. The tax rates, by the way, in the Internal Revenue Code start at 10, then 15, 25, 28, 33, 35. That's the highest tax rate in the United States Internal Revenue Code. This is the Internal Revenue Code. I'm Jim Randall.